Right? How would you dispatch it? Dispatch means how would you kill it? Ring yep. its neck. Ring its neck. Yep. Yeah. Any other method you can think of? Cut its head off. Cut its head off. Yeah, absolutely. So if you haven't got the strength or you haven't got the actual oomph to do that, yeah, take a knife to it, take an axe to it, whatever you need to, take its head off. That will, it'll die instantly. So it's not going to suffer. Ultimately, we, we don't want our lungs to suffer. That, that, that's the key thing. You know, it's like you watch fishermen that hold the fish up on a hook and together. Again, not this thing, fishermen. Um, but you, you don't want that animal to suffer for any longer than it has to. Um, if you haven't got the strength to do that, go next to a tree and just whack as hard as you can and knock his head against the tree. Again, bl you know, blunt, blunt trauma to the head. Or really gross method is you can squeeze really hard on your thumb, top of the head, and actually push the brains out. And that, that will kill it as well. Whatever method, the quickest is the best. First thing we're going to do is take the head off. Okay? This is a very fast move and it just is like that. Oh, wow. Okay? Andy, I want to see you do this. Almost the same speed. We've got two bins scattered around. We can get more if you need to, but if you can, possibly always into the bin. It saves Tim and I coming back with a, with a, you know, with a fancy comb trying to pick it all up. Yeah. So, at this, but, uh, we'll, we'll hand them out in a sec actually. Before we start, those of you. Um, do you want to actually do any filming first and then, uh, then we'll do the demo afterwards? Yeah. Do, 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 okay, so I'll, I'll do a full demo first. Normally we do it all together, so just trying to. <laughs> it's a different kind of course. Um, so, this, as, as Tim said, it's a, a, a knifeless method to get the, the breast meat off the chicken. Chicken? Off the pigeon. It is every time. <laughs> every single time. Off the pigeon. So, taking the head off, first next thing we do is take the wings off. Okay? To do the wings, you grab really firmly with your thumb and your hand. Good twist. Wing comes off. We're not going to use that. If it was proper survival, we might throw that and make a stock and things like that, or use the bait for the next animal. But we're not going to bother. That sounds horrible. Now this one, oh, I think I may have recovered. Yeah. If you break, if it breaks <clears throat> and leaves the bone sticking out, it just makes it more difficult at the end to get the breast off. But this one, the both came out. You can see the sinew coming through there. Yeah. So if we were going to use this as a survival situation, that sinew would be really great for tying on, you know. A fish hook or something like that. Very strong, strong mm. thing. At this stage, we can check the crop sack. Now, birds don't have teeth, so food goes in the crop sack, and then it gets swallowed, goes into the gizzard, which has got like yeah, you know, they actually swallow pebbles, and that crushes the food. And here, who can tell me what they think that is? It's the food. It's, no, it's, a, it's a food that they've eaten. What food do you think that is? Can that do it, Freddie? Corn. Corn? Bean. Yeah, it looks like a bean. Corn. Okay. Corn. Bean. It looks like beans, doesn't it? Now they, they can eat anything. Any idea how much a pigeon can eat a day? Two. Two what? Two pigeons? Yeah. Two. Did you say 100 grams? I thought you did. You said 100 grams. 100 grams of food in the morning and again at night. So that's, yeah, we're talking a lot of food. That's a lot, yeah. Which is why they've seen as pests to the, to the farmers. Yeah. Now, we're not going to eat the contents of the gizzard. If we will survive it again, and you can deem that food as a safe food, you can wash it and eat it, add it to your soup. You know, it's oh. why go and harvest it if he's got, he or she has got some food here. But we're not going to bother with that. Okay, next bit, you can see the esophagus sticking out the top. With your thumb, just the front esophagus, so with feet down and sort of my fingers across the, the front and on the chest. Gently work the hole just in front of the esophagus and get your thumb in there. Okay, so basically you're trying to stretch the membrane at this stage so you can get two thumbs in. Now this is the fast bit. As you can see there, I've got in this case chest and feet on the right, my right. We're now going to do the rip method. I knew okay. that. You knew that? Oh, no. I'll help you with this because it's it's interesting. See how you want to say it. Okay, so now we're going to just rip the bird literally open. Oh, wow. Okay. But that's it. This is the method of getting the meat out without using a knife. This is when you do the, the is the bird safe to eat test. First thing, what does it smell like? Does it smell like a dead animal? Yes. Yes. Mm. If my neck went pull and threw me straight back because my brain's telling me that smells absolutely disgusting, yeah. then there's probably something wrong with it. Mm. Okay, because we humans, we know you open the fridge and you smell something's bad, you find the rotten and cheese or yeah. leftover pizza from four weeks ago, that sort of thing. It doesn't happen in my fridge, there's no leftovers. <laughs> we eat everything the next day. 
Okay, um, so yeah, so that's, that, that's the first thing. And then just look at the bird. A bit of anatomy, you know, what have you got here? Can you point to something earlier? Where did you say the lungs were? Yeah, so we got, we got the nas we got, we got lungs. Now the chicken, oh, this is again. <laughs> Honestly, I do it every time, it's not on purpose, I promise. The pigeon, the, the um, a pigeon's a very, you know, unwieldy bird. It looks like a big Russian cargo plane, you know, they, yeah. they've got tiny wings, but they fly, you know. But it's, the reason it's got big, big breast is it's got a big, big engine. It's got big muscles. Okay, so you've got a very flighty bird. They're not, they're not, they haven't got anything on the legs ready to eat, eat like you would, uh, yeah, say like a pheasant or a chicken, yeah, say, I can say legitimately. Um, so they've got a big heart also pump all the blood to the wings. Okay, so you can clear out these bits, you don't need to, but you can if you want to, you can see better. But ultimately, we don't need to. We're going to just look, we're looking for any, if you see any on, on the, um, on the liver, well, there, there's the, um, there's the gizzard, you can feel it's a rock, rock hard thing. They, they swallow, as I say, pebbles and things, so they can actually crush the food. But we don't need, we don't need any of that unless, as I say, survival situation. What we're doing is now, so if you look at it, how it was, so let's go back a step. It was there, we've opened the bird up. Oops, sorry. And now we're going to turn what looks like a shield, which is a breastplate. We're going to turn that inside out and pull it away. Okay. Discard the rest, and this is what we're looking for. Brilliant. So that is that's the breast. It's like a heart. It does look like a heart. It's a heart. It's a heart yeah. shape. It's almost a shield shape. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. This part that was that was kind of the easy bit. This still takes a little bit longer, but it's like a, the, the breast bone is like a T. So well, I'll do it that way if you want. So the T's at the top, or like a Y, and the bone down the middle. So you've got two breasts, left and a right. If you work very slowly from this end, gently work your nail under it. it does help having nails. The slower you work this part, the more meat you'll get off to eat. Mm. If you rush this, you leave a lot of meat on the bone. Gently slide that off. Working a bit faster, but that's um, there you go. That is our first. And the second one, so you can see that that's, that's just bone. Working this side. And this method you can upscale, you can do you know, other birds with this mm -hmm. method. We tried ostrich once, it's very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> yeah, really big thumbs. Big thumbs, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and they normally run faster than they said they kick very well. Run across the uh, walk across the field once, saw us, just thought, ah, oh, it's not a problem. They're they just sitting on their nest, it's fine. He saw us, wasn't happy we were there. Oh, having 11 people run with full backpacks that works, <laughs> not fun at all. So, what you left with is the bone. As I said, it's got, um, yeah, it, it's, it's just like a sort of upside down T. I can discard it, and there's, there's a breath. 